Okay, now we're here now. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to test the tank ultrasonic. If you see over here, this is the tank over here, and this is the bottle part over here. Uh, we're going to we're going to show you how to check the tank ultrasonic. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find out the thickness of the tank. Okay, you come over. Here, you come over here. You're going to see. This is what we're going to use today. We're going to use the TS4. We call it TS4 for this uh, type of gauge with the sun. So first of all, we're going to fire up. Okay, if you look over here, maybe maybe you need some light over here to see it. Okay, and this type over here, inches. Um, it's already set to inches, so you don't need to touch this. And you put a little bit gel over here in the tip, set them up to settle. You look at it a little bit. Take the gel they use for this. And I come over here, hold it down. And 414, I mean, it's, it's good. It's a good a good uh, working order. If it was off like a thousand, it need to go back to the shop and have it calibrated. Um, you come over here, hold the PRB. Bro. Help you with the bar, set up as your number, as that's the number you're supposed to record, and we're ready to go. So right now, first of all, the first thing we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to check the, how thick is this tank. Okay, and it could be a 10 gauge, it could be a 14 gauge, and it could be uh, looking over here, 10, 12, and 14 gauge tank. So we got three different kind of tank. So we're gonna check over here right there. This tank, see like somebody painted before. So probably the number gonna be off a little bit. So you come over here, uh, you hold the pro over here, and you look the numbers. If you look the numbers over here, see you see the bar, it took me this uh, it tell you the signal. And and the numbers running right here, it's gonna set uh, let's say 112. Okay, 112. So I, I come to my reference book over here and I look 112. The number is 112. So between 112, between 0 0.091 and 128, telling me there's a 12 gauge tank. Okay, that's what we're going to work today. A 12 gauge tank over here. So now the first, the next thing we're going to do is, okay, we know we got a 12 gauge tank. Okay, and I look my reference chart over here. Okay, and uh, we're going to work with our reference over here. 12 gauge tank is telling me that the numbers got to be about 1.081 or more. It's below than that, we we having a problem, okay, with the tank. Okay, so, again, now, I'm going to put the light down. I don't know if you got enough light. I'm going to put my light down so people see over here. The way we perform this uh, tank. Back again, we're going to put the gel. I'm going to put a little bit in the floor over here. I'm going to clean it up. Okay. And uh, you get put something in the tip and you come over here, test the tank over here. You can go back with the camera a little bit. And and, uh, and look, my numbers. So over here, it's, it's, it's going to set. I got a good signal bar. All the way to the top, it's telling me 111, okay, and not less than 1.81. That's the danger zone. When I hit 0 0.81, that's the day for for this type tank, no 12 gauge. I'm in the danger zone. So over here, it's telling me that I got. Okay, I got a good signal bar. 0 0.137. I'm way about the danger zone. And I, I check over here. They got the washing machine over here. So I'm going to try to go as far as I can and get. Now we have got 0 0.0107. I still about, I still about uh, 0 0.81. They're looking for point below 0.0. Uh, 0 0.81. Put another gel on the tip and you, you 
Second, again, you look at the meter over here. Bring the camera close. You see over here, 0.182. And they do that all the way across the tank. On the bottom, you go all the way across. And uh, the lowest number, that's going to tell the technician that's where the tank is weak. Okay? All right. So anything below 0 0.081, you're in the danger zone. You're not qualified. So I will get a new oil tank at that point. But in this case, I'm going to re replace it though because it's an old tank and uh, I'm going to replace it anyway. Okay? So the next time another video, and that's how you do it.